So hi, Nina. Hey. We are here at Synthfest, and uh, you're going to talk us through Stepper Drum, right? Because we yeah. kind of saw it a while ago, but we, it's not out yet, or it's kind of getting closer, It's right? getting close now. I mean, we've had to basically put it on ice for almost a year because we couldn't get parts for it. Um, we've only just managed to get enough parts to carry on making Stepper Acid, and that's managed to get that sorted. And uh, yeah, now we're back on Stepper Drum. This isn't going to be the final version. There's going to be another version, which has just been sent off. So we should, uh, we're hoping to have it out in a matter of months, uh, fingers crossed. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's an um, eight channel um, uh, trigger and gate sequencer. Um, it's, um, it's got very sort of little sort of real time um, tricks you can do with looping sections. So, for example, here we could we could sort of loop loop uh, between two different notes, uh, two different parts of the sequence, and then when you release it, all it goes back to normal. Uh, we've got this concept of fills, so you can uh, quickly jump to a different pattern and then back, and you can cue those up as well, and then it jumps back to the one you were playing. Um, yeah, we've got different different uh, note outputs like single note, uh, like a doublet, triplet, uh, and a gate. So you can use it as um, as uh, more of a gate for other things in your modular rather than just drum sounds. You said you're kind of close. Like, how how close are we in terms of like when it will be released? Is there is there a kind of mind uh, um, a, a so goal in date? Or? Yeah, so we're thinking it's it's either going to be the end of this year or early next year. It's our sort of uh, our sort of window at the moment, so we're hoping parts permitting and firmware permitting. Um, yeah, we're going to have it out roughly by then. We're thinking about also the next version is also going to have MIDI in and out, um, so we're going to be able to clock it over MIDI uh, or use it as a clock for other devices, uh, as well as have a way to update firmware and things using system exclusive and all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, near, near final version. Uh, yeah, it's a shame we had to sort of redesign half of it because of parts, but that's... Did, uh, did that allow you to kind of uh, work on some additional features and things like that? Is there things that you've like yeah. added or maybe you weren't going to put in, but you now Yeah, so time yeah, to... it's mainly the MIDI thing that we've decided to, to put in. Uh, it just sort of gives us a bit of time to use it and um, come up with, um, you know, interesting ways to use MIDI and and um, yeah, synchronization and, and all that kind of stuff. So, so Brilliant. Yeah. Well, Nina, thank you very much. Thanks, Ed. And uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. Cheers, take care.